Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this lesson we're going to be copying a profile and offsetting it vertically in Civil 3D. Let's get started. In this exercise you'll copy a part of a centerline layout profile. You'll use the copy to create a starting line for a ditch profile that is a specified distance below the centerline. This exercise continues from editing a layout profile. So let's go about copying the layout profile. Go ahead and open up your Profile-3B drawing, which is located in your Tutorials folder. Let's zoom in to the Profile view down at the bottom here, which is Profile view number one. And then select the red Layout Profile. Go ahead and right click and select Edit Profile Geometry. You'll see that the Profile Layout Tools toolbar pops up. Select this button right here to copy the profile. We get our dialog box here to copy the profile data. Now specify the following parameters. For the PVI range, we're going to select Station Range. We're going to start at 300 and end at 1700. The destination profile options, we're going to go ahead and create a new profile. Go ahead and click OK. Now the new profile is drawn on top of the old one. Go to your tool space and click on the prospector tab. Expand the alignments, the center line, and the ridge road. Next, go into your Profiles collection. You'll see that we have a copy profile right down here. Go ahead and press Escape. Now we're going to offset the profile. In the drawing, we're going to select the profile and right click. Then go to Profile View Properties. Select the Profiles tab and then we're going to clear out the checkbox for Layout 1 under the Draw column. Now clearing this checkbox removes the original profile from the Profile view. Later you can restore this profile to the Profile view if you wish. As a tip, instead of removing a profile from the Profile view, you can try selecting a profile to move it. However, the process described here is more reliable with overlapping profiles. Go ahead and click OK. Now the Profile View Properties dialog box closes and the Profile View is redrawn, showing just the copy of our layout. Click the Layout Profile and you'll see under the name of the selected profile is our Layout Copy. You'll see it's also within the Layout Tools toolbar. In the next few steps, you'll lower the profile copy by 5 feet to represent the elevation of the ditch. On the toolbar, select this button to raise and lower the PVI. Now we're going to specify some parameters. For the elevation change, we're going to put negative 5 feet. And for the PVI range, we're going to keep it on all. Then click OK. As we zoom out, you'll see in the profile view above, in both profile views, the line moves to its new position. This profile copy is a full featured object that can be edited in the same way as the original layout profile. Press Escape to deselect the profile, and in the drawing, go back to profile view number one, select the profile view right-click and select Profile View Properties. Within the Profiles tab, we're going to check our original layout and clear out our copy. Then select OK. Clearing the checkbox removes the copy of the profile from the Profile View. But notice that the copy is still displayed on Profile View number 2. 
So that's how you go about copying a profile and offsetting it vertically in Civil 3D. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, visit AutoCADCivil3DTraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.